Well, today is probably going to be my last December video as December is wrapping up. And I've been struggling trying to figure out what I am going to do a video on. Uh, if you remember my short, the book PC, the 386 computer, it I don't have a sound card that will fit in there and I just don't feel it's appropriate right now to use that one until I have a sound card for it. Uh, I could use my AdLib clone or my uh, MP401 card that I purchased and did a video on a while ago, but I want a proper sound card in it. I want error correct. It, it'd just be fitting for that. So, we have this Socket 7. Uh, backstory on this one is yeah, I had put it together for my kids to experience DOS gaming. Well, that did not pan out. Uh, well, yes and no. But, yeah, I'm just going to do a video on it and use it as a DOS ember. So the processor we got underneath the hood of the massive heat sink and fan is a AMD K62300, I believe. Uh, the system board has got the VIA chips on it. It is a Lucky Star. Oh, what model number is that one? A 5MVP3 revision. Uh, 2.1, I believe. It does have the 1 megabyte of cache hiding underneath this massive wad of excellent, supreme cable management there. Maybe not. And uh, we do have an AGP port here. So, uh, two birds with one stone here. And we have the MediaVision Jazz 16 card here. This one does have the wavetable header. Uh, I think there was another one I had that did not. But this one, at least it does. <laughs> So, I forget which version this thing is. Uh, it's not the same as the other one that I had, but this one is actually a really good card. The other one sounded great too, but... Eh, eh, eh. Going with this one. And in one of my other shorts, I had mentioned this Trident. Uh, 9850, 3D image, 9850. Which is kind of a unique little card. And I had a subscriber, thank you very much for pointing that out, or saying something about it, that uh, he had one similar to this. It was a Trident in a laptop, I believe, and he did not have OpenGL support. So, I had mentioned there is a, there's two drivers in that uh, bin that you need pay attention to which one you're installing and one driver actually gives you the OpenGL support and you have to manually select that one for it to work. So that's what we're going to do and later on there will be a video about the OpenGL if it works with this card. At least that's what I've been told. <laughs> I could have been lied to but we will find out later on of course. Not in this video but else if I line it up and actually get it in there. There we go. And my handy little system holder is not doing very well. So with the Trident card now installed here, oh, soon to be finished up here, and done. Everything is work is installed. Yeah, the 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 the. the. Stumbling over, over my own words. So, as we can see. And. Ah, pardon me, I'm going to have to back the camera up here. A little wobbly camera action here. A little more wobbly camera action here. Ah, there we go. We have this lovely case. So. I guess it's time to hook up everything and see what I already have installed on here. Now, uh, obviously it's preloaded because I pre-built this thing a while ago. Uh, last year, actually. 
and I haven't really done anything with it since. Uh, you know, kids get older and their little minds go somewhere else, and they come back and go somewhere else. So <laughs> that's what has apparently happened here. Uh, I do not have the LCD or LED thingamabob here hooked up to it, so sorry guys, I messed up there. I don't know why I didn't hook that up. Maybe it didn't work, I don't remember. But anyway, I'll get it hooked up and let's see what we got on here. And once again, I will be using the most excellent monitor here, the HP uh, viewing thingy, my bob. So let's go from there. All right, all the what's in my bobbers are uh, plugged in in the back. <laughs> I. Uh, had a little bit of trouble with a few things, but anyway, it's working now, so that's all that matters, right? And yes, the bleed through of the static. That was a pretty cool little uh, icon I had up there for the load up. And yes, uh, overkill for a DOS system on the RAM. And yeah, 20 megabyte hard or 20 gigabyte hard drive. <laughs> yeah, that's a little overkill too. But hey, who cares? Not me. So I guess we should do some DOS benches first, huh? Oh, already got the CD-ROM in there. And let's see how overkill this thing is. And we're using DOS Bench from Phil's Computer Lab because he is a great, great guy to uh, distribute something so remarkable that everybody uses it. <laughs> What's nice about using this monitor is you can actually see everything instead of being cut off all the time. Unlike that stupid Vizio TV monitor I've been using. I have to go down to the local wall shark and find something better. I'll be in a couple of paychecks. Oh, well, obviously this is a faster system, so uh, we'll do that. And just like that, I got 238.6. Uh, you know what? Wouldn't be the same without a Doom and a Quake bench. Hey, that ain't bad. 2134 game ticks and 737 real ticks. Considering it is a AMD K62300. Yeah, I have a very soft spot for these socket 7s. Okay, now let's do a quick time demo of 640 by 480. This is going to be our downfall here.
as slow as this thing is running, I would not consider it playable. It is most likely going to be a driver issue because I have not loaded drivers for this card. I do know that this card can handle Quake 2 quite well. Graphics look amazing though, other than it being a slideshow. You need the gold key, dummy. Drop down there and get the gold key. Uh, yep, 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 that would be it. There you go. And wow, eighteen point oh, one hundred eighteen point five seconds and eight point two frames per second. Yeah, I don't think it actually ran it in the correct frame rate, so. That's kind of where I'm going here with that one. I don't think that was quite right for the right screen size. And obviously we know what everything is, so I'm just going to show it. Ooh, I got a bonus. I got an extra megahertz. Mixture 1.3 megahertz. So, yes, I could overclock this one safely to a 333, but I'm not. I'm not going to do that right now. So. Level 1 cache is enabled to right back mode. That's a plus. And he, he, yep. That all looks good. So we're happy there. Oh, I think I'm done with that. So, let's see how the speakers sound. Yeah. Yep, you guessed it. Jill the Jungle. Yeah. Uh, Jill Jungle. Jill goes underground. That's kind of scary. Jill saves a prince. Huh. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave that one alone. I'm not going to touch that name, but we'll see how it sounds here. No, that is not correct. Not correct. Configure. What? Apparently it doesn't like this. I get a PC speaker. Well. <laughs> There's a place and for its oh. Do 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 do. Yeah, it runs nice. Too bad I don't have sound. You found a knife. It's a good thing I don't live back east. It'd be bad. worry about a copyright strike on this one. Considering, you know, Epic done pretty good on even the PC speaker sound, so I'll give them credit there. So, you know, I give them credit on that. So the Jazz 16 does not support Jill. 
RGL does not support Jazz 16. Mm. Yeah. At least not this driver version. Oh, come on. Just because those two keys are right next to each other doesn't mean I can't do it right. Oh. Just because I can't remember all these things. Ah, right there. It's Doom Special Edition. Good music quality, however. Yeah, there you go. Always the right key. Always a key. Right key. Point blank shotgun. There you go.
Poison. Mm. Really. So, newer games are doing a lot better with this Jazz 16 card. Kind of be expected a little bit. So, step it up to well, just do a little bit of rot. A combat game out. Oh, never mind. Oh, there we go. I'll do the eluder. Uh, one stop gun shop. That sounds like a good one. Sure, we'll use tie. Gray, brown, black, red, olive, blue. White, green, purple, orange, gray. I'll go with my favorite color. Yeah, <laughs> olive. Oh, yeah, mushrooms.
wrong. <laughs> oh. Yeah, sure. Need a little spark in my life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like I said, the newer games, this sound card is just freaking phenomenal. Uh, yeah, I got Heretic on here too. But uh, I believe Spear of Destiny still runs not a problem. Yeah. That was quick. I forgot about the guy back there behind me. Oh, I can't stab you. <laughs> Apparently I'm not death incarnate. <laughs> oh, yeah. Spirit Destiny, always a great one. Anything of Wolfenstein. Man. Now, I believe that is. Yeah, Tire End. Another, another very excellent game that I enjoy playing. I love the soundtrack to this. I'm not going to live much longer on this. Yes, uh, this, you know, for a DOS system, this is honestly a great setup here. And anybody that actually has a soft spot for these uh, Socket 7s, I would say do it. I mean, even if you're finding just an older one with a uh, uh, AMD K6. I mean, that's a great setup. Uh, K62300, K62233, something like that is a great DOS system. And plus, you're not limited by the hard drive space. I mean, you actually have some upgradability here, and you're not going to be conflicting with the CF cards or other hard drive issues. And if you get one that's got AGP, being, well, that make a socket 7, a super socket 7. But you're just, you're not limited as nearly as much as you are on a 486 system. Uh, this one also has the PS2 adapter for the mouse, so that's a great plus there. But there's options out there for you to enjoy a DOS game here. So, I guess that's what I'm trying to push with this video, is options for a DOS system. Now, this one I will... I'm not going to format this hard drive on here. I will actually put yeah, it'll be this hard drive in it. This was out of uh, yeah, this is out of my compact that uh, caused me to have to go change my shorts. But <laughs> yeah, I will be using that one in this one, and I'll just do the quick cable swap. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and Happy New Year's. 
Hope you uh, have a better year than this year or next year. Thank you for watching. Oh, that's rough. Ho, ho, ho.